Hi, this is my Hi. friend Estelle. Introduce. Hello, this is Estelle, and I'm with Belinda, and she's going to ask me certain questions that I'm going to answer. Mm hmm. And it's all pertaining to food. About food. Mm hmm. Estelle. Yes. Have you ever tried chitlins? Chitlin? No. Chitlins. No, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? No. What uh, is it? Chitlins. Chitlin. Chitlins. Chitlin. Spell it. C H I T T E R L I N G. Chitlin. Mm -hmm. Chitlin. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Okay. Chitlins. Chitlin. Are the pig's guts. Is the what? The pig's, the hog, guts. Guts? Intestine. Oh, that's, I don't eat that. <laughs> Would you like to try it? No. Uh, I grew up eating it. No, I won't eat it. And it, you clean it. You wash it real good and then you, you boil them and you eat them and it's... I won't eat it. You don't want no chitlins? No way. Okay, what about mountain oysters? What kind of... Mountain oysters. No. You know what they are? What? It, would you, they're hog nuts. They're hog legs? Nuts. Hog? Testicles. Oh, I don't eat that. <laughs> I don't eat that. <laughs> you eat that? Uh, I did. I grew up eating that. You did? You, eat it? you ate that? Yes. Did you like it? No, oh. my mom's, I like chitlins though. But when I found out what it was, I didn't, I stopped. What, what is it again? Chitlins. It's and from a hog. It's the intestines from the hog. Oh my God. And, and the oh. moin oysters are the hog nuts. Oh my God. And, I, would, I would never eat that. And people eat that. I would never in a million years. And see, that was that was the scrappings that they gave to the slaves back in the day, in slavery time. Oh. And before and and, and they would give the slaves the bad part of the hog. Oh. And that's all they had to eat. Was <laughs> chitterlings. That's terrible. <coughs> yeah. So how about you want That's terrible. Would you like to try it? No, I wouldn't try it. Hog no, no. <laughs> Have you had it? Have you ever tried it? Yes, ma'am. You did? I had no choice but to eat it. Yeah, but why did you try it? You were never a slave. My mother, because it passed the tradition of that food, of that it passed on down from generation to generation. Is it supposed to be a delicacy? It's like a delicacy, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like the Jewish gefilte fish. Yes. You know what gefilte fish is? No. It's called stuffed fish. It's white fish and yellow pike, two fishes, mm. and they're chopped together with egg and matzo meal and made into a little patty and cooked for about three hours. Wow. It's delicious. Oh, okay. <laughs> with onions on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's called gefilte fish. Oh, okay. It's a delicacy. Oh. You would like it. Really? Just like you would like mountain oysters. No, I would not. <laughs> I love this one. I see it's so much fun. And um, I just wanted to share you the, with you all that it doesn't matter. We all have something in common. That's human beings. And I'm learning from her. So like she learns from me. Again, this is Belinda talking to Estelle about some little dishes. See, I give you good things here. Gefilte fish, mm -hmm. matzo balls, that's a good, that's a Jewish. Yes. Delicious. <laughs> matzo ball. Chicken soup. And I like it too, I like that. Did you ever have it? You fixed, you had prepared some matzo ball and I tasted it, it was good. You had it. It was delicious. delicious. Yeah. And gefilte fish, you would love it. Yes, it's much better it's very than... Very wholesome. And it's better and it's better than Martin oysters and chitlins. It's much better. Yes. And I wouldn't eat that. <laughs>